Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. We have so much has gone unsaid. Wow. So I feel like honestly, this is how you both are feeling about one another at this time. There's a lot that you want to express. And I feel like Divine Feminine, this is a masculine energy who you really, really want to talk to. I feel like you want to express yourself, but there's also some form of expression that you want to receive from this masculine as well. So this could be someone that you have been at a distance from for a while, or this could have happened in the recent past, but I'm getting specifically that there's something about their energy that could be causing you to want to know what's going on with them. And this masculine energy that I'm tapping into is very, very prideful. Like if they were actually going through something, they probably wouldn't tell you until they got like every single thing situated. They crossed all of their T's and dotted their I's and they were able to present the information to you from a higher perspective in life. But you can definitely feel that something is kind of off with them. But this is not in a way where you feel like they're being sneaky or they're being vindictive or hiding something from you. But this is like a general concern for their well-being. Okay? And I'm getting that you feel this way because this is someone who you have a very solid bond with. This is a masculine energy that loves you. Okay? Let's just put that out there. there there's very very intense energy coming through um almost as if your person has been stuffing things down and keeping things from you um and i feel like this could be something directly tied to their personal journey but you're definitely picking up on this and you really really want to speak to them i feel like the moment this this is one of those connections where if you were to speak to your person or they were to call you you would immediately notice something about their energy or you will immediately be able to tap into information just based upon their tone, certain words that they use. This is a very, very, you know, tight knit bond here. Okay. Cause I'm getting that aside from there being a lot of love in this connection, you actually like one another. Like this is a masculine that actually likes you. You have a lot in common. You share a lot of the same qualities. Like I'm getting kind of a really solid, best friend kind of vibe here and because you're so connected with them it's like you can feel that they may be going through something and the fact that they're not opening up to you about it is kind of concerning you so like i said earlier you may be able to hear this in their voice if you talk to them from time to time maybe you're picking up on this energy or this could just be their overall disposition but yes yeah, so much has gone unsaid but what i'm also picking up on is that there's been a lot of changes in, in both of your lives, okay? And there's kind of like this need or this urge to catch up and talk to your person. So maybe their energy is coming off a little standoffish, okay? Yeah, I feel like that's the word, standoffish, okay? And this, this may be something that they're dealing with because the energy really feels kind of restrictive. This is how you may feel dealing with your person as well. It's like you know something is going on, you can feel the energy, but it's like they kind of won't budge. You know what I mean? But something about this, it's coming off very, very weird. Because um, this is just not their normal behavior. This is not their normal disposition. I feel like this is someone that you're very open with. You're very expressive with. Okay, just on a, on a basic level. Like you can talk about life. You can talk about things that are happening in your, um, in your career, in your private life, your personal life. It's like nothing is off the table when it comes to this kind of connection. But lately, something about their energy may be very standoffish or very restrictive for some reason, okay? And um, what's interesting that I'm picking up is your person may not understand why they are doing this as well. There's moments where they feel really, really inspired to take action. It's like they'll begin to text you, they'll begin to dial your number or email you, but they stop themselves. And you may be trying to figure out why, but I'm getting that they don't even understand why. But there's definitely a lot 
that wants to be said and I feel like this is a person that you genuinely want to touch bases with you want to speak to them um and it's not necessarily that they're hiding something it's just that you want to make sure that they are okay okay so for whatever reason you know that's coming through really really strongly here so you could be very intuitive you could be picking up intuitively um something in their energy field is a little bit off but yeah they want you to know that there is a lot that they want to say to you that they haven't said to you yet but i definitely feel like they will there could be an issue with timing as well let's get the next message here So the next message we have is, I know you miss me. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. So yeah, if you're wondering how your person is feeling about you at this time, this is how they feel. They know that you miss them. Okay. And they know this because they can feel your energy. I honestly feel like this is the overall energy of your connection. I feel like you both feel this way at this time. But for some reason, you're not expressing this. Maybe there hasn't been the opportunity to express this. But your person is coming through saying, look, you know, I know that you're, you're missing me. I know that you're concerned about me. But for some reason, they're stopping themselves from letting you know what's truly, truly bothering them or why their energy is a little bit altered at this time, okay? But yeah, even though if you're at a distance, something deep within you is telling you that your person not only misses you, but they're kind of like yearning for you at this time. So if you felt their energy lately, this is definitely confirmation. It's like they're coming through to confirm this for you. And I'm picking up specifically on a connection that has history. Also a connection that has grown over time. But where you stand today in your journey, I feel like you have changed in many ways. And I'm getting that you both have changed due to people and circumstances that are close in your environment. Um, for some of you, this change has been drastic. I mean, it's literally changed and shaped the way that you see life, the way that you see love. I feel like your personal journeys have molded and shaped you into totally different versions of yourself. And I get that this energy where both of you are really wanting to know what this looks like at this stage of your connection. Like the most important question that you ask yourselves when you're thinking about the other is how can I support my person through this stage of their lives? It's like this, there's a really like loving kind of supportive energy that's coming through right now where you know that your person misses you. You know that your person may be going through something um, in their lives, but you know that, that whatever it is that they're going through is kind of shaping and molding them for the better. And for some reason, this masculine, you know, they want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They want to explain this, but they have a lot of pride. And the way that this is presented to you, the way that, you know, they speak about this, the language that they use, I'm getting like very specific energy um, as it pertains to open this up and expressing to you in some kind of way, like this is important to them. I feel like you may be someone that they hold in very high regard as well, Divine Feminine. And because you are very intuitive and you have this kind of access to them, it's like they want you to know that they know that you're missing them. They know that, you know, their energy may be coming off a little bit restrictive or a little standoffish at this time. But I feel like there's a deeper reason. Okay. I feel like, um, especially with this month here with September, September is a very, very heavy month just due to the transits that are happening on the planet. So this may bring about some heavy, heavy emotions to the surface for both of you at this time. And I definitely feel like you both have been busy with life, but there are moments like this one here where you really, really just drop down into your heart space and think about the other and it makes you very very emotional this is someone who loves you deeply divine feminine and you know that they love you that's that's important here i'm getting that very clearly it's like the fact that you know on a soul level that this masculine loves you it's, it's sticking out 
So this has been confirmed for you. This is not a question for you about how your person feels about you. I definitely feel like at this point of your journey, life has taken you both, you know, maybe on different paths in some kind of way. And because of that, you've changed, you've evolved, they've changed, and they've evolved. And you both are trying to figure out, if, especially if you're at a distance from one another, how can you support your person? Because maybe they're not opening up to you, they're not being as expressive with you here. And Divine Feminine, I feel like you're in this place where you have kind of this calm disposition, like you have this inner knowing. Whether you know it or not, your masculine is, is assuming that same type of energy. They have this deep knowing, they have this calm energy at this time, regardless of what it is that they're going through. But they also are aware that, you know, you're missing them, that you kind of desire for them to open up, for them to speak to you, and for you to let them know what it is that they're going through, okay? But yeah, um, I feel like if you are at a distance from your person, the reason for that may be deeper than what you think, okay? Yeah, because honestly, this energy is coming through very, very nurturing. It's almost as if you both know that you will be together, right? But there's something that you have to do alone or it's something that you have to do by yourself. So it's almost as if your person wants to come through and kind of offer you some type of comfort during this time that they are away from you. But I feel like this is your energy as well, Divine Feminine. You both are really concerned with the other's general well-being at this time. Maybe you know that um, you both may be personally navigating through something very heavy at this time and in a way that you can just feel. But I definitely feel like this connection is in alignment, definitely in alignment with what's going on in, in the world right now because September is very heavy. That new moon in Virgo really came in and kind of forced us to get everything in order. And if you weren't in order and things weren't ready, you know, you had to kind of get ready and we're going to lead right into this full moon in Pisces, which is going to bring up everything, all of these emotions and help you really clear and release. But this is going to be highly, highly intense. So as these emotions rise to the surface, there's a lot of clearing, there's a lot of feeling, there's a lot of readdressing of emotions that you may have felt like have left already within this connection here. But I definitely feel like whatever is rising right now, you both are kind of looking at it from a higher perspective and wondering how this is directly affecting where you are right now at this stage, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have is, I know I'm in the wrong place. Wow, I just got confirmation. So that may be a major confirmation for you, Divine Feminine. I feel like this could very well be what it is that you're concerned about as it pertains to your person's well-being. You genuinely wonder if they are aware of this. So I feel like this thought may cross your mind a lot only because you know this masculine on a deep level. This is someone who you have had very intimate conversations with about life, about love, about who they are, their passions, their desires. You know this masculine on a soul level. And where they are right now is not where they are supposed to be. And they're coming in confirming that for you. Because a lot of you sit back and you, you think about this masculine and you wonder if they have accepted where they are right now on this journey. You think, you know, are they just accepting this fate? Are they not going to move towards the goals that they set for their lives, for their loves, you know, professional lives, whatever this is? But this, this is a lot deeper here. I feel like this is a very vulnerable energy with your person. So maybe you communicate with them telepathically, energetically here. Maybe this is something that you already were privy to, Divine Feminine. Because I'm getting like solid. Like this person views you as a best friend. Like they actually like you. You know, they love you, okay, but they like you as a person. 
So this is someone who they feel as if they can get deep with you and there will be no judgment. Maybe they have opened up and they've expressed this to you, but they're coming through confirming like, look, I know that where I am right now is not close to what it is that I discussed with you, not close to the plans that I set for my own life here, but there's actually a focus. It's even deeper, okay? Because I keep getting like deeper. So there's something about their environment. This is a masculine energy who is very, very sensitive to their environment. So this pertains to the people, the places, the things, their friendships, their relationships with their family, their colleagues. Okay, this is getting kind of deep here. Um, so I feel like this is something that they, they want to express, something that's been really heavy, heavy on their hearts. This is someone who needs a nurturing environment in order for them to get to where it is that they are supposed to be. And that really, really affects them. So maybe this is something that you both share in common. I feel, I feel a lot of dual energy with this reading here as well. That may be something that you both have in common, but this is a masculine energy who is very intelligent. And I feel like that's something that you both have in common as well. You both know a little bit about a lot. So they understand on a spiritual level how they have to have the right type of energies around them in order to grow into who it is that they need to be. And right now they're letting you know, you know, maybe something about, I keep getting their environment, something about their environment is not conducive to their growth. And this is them kind of in a moment of surrender, like, you know, I know. Don't think that this is going over my head. Don't think that I'm just sitting here comfortable. This may be a very uncomfortable place for them where they are right now, but they want you to know that they are aware of this. And they're actively, you know, trying to navigate this space and trying to get out of this space. I feel like they've known this for a long time as well, but now they understand why. Maybe they felt uncomfortable for a very, very long time. Maybe you intuitively picked up on this divine feminine. You could look into their lives and, and see things and people and places and situations and energies that you just knew were not going to be okay for them. And now they're understanding this as well. You know, and some people never get to this place in life. Some people are in the positions that they are right now simply by the company that they choose to entertain and this person is really understanding your masculine is really understanding how this is directly affecting their destiny at this time okay and for some reason this is very important for you to know this so maybe this wasn't confirmed for you at one point maybe you really thought to yourself wow you know this masculine just doesn't see this maybe they're never going to see this but yeah they definitely do and I'm also getting Divine Feminine. This may be a shock to you. This just came to me. This may be a shock to you, but this Divine Masculine feels this way about you as well. Okay? They wonder what you're up to and if you're aligning with your highest and your best timeline. This is someone who knows you very deeply. Like I was saying, this is someone who you have exchanged you know, information with on a soul level, whether this be energetically, whether you verbally express this, this is someone who knows you at your core. I'm also picking up this masculine, maybe very intuitive as well. And you may not know this, but they, they may be heavy into spirituality. They're very, very knowledgeable. So I'm getting that they know that you have a very powerful destiny as well, Divine Feminine. And what you both have in common is that your environment, I keep getting that environment energy, your environment directly connects to your destiny, whether you know it or not. And so this is a very dual energy, okay? So your person may, may have looked at your life and may have felt like, you know, maybe you met them at a certain point. I'm, I'm getting that you both have grown. Maybe you haven't spoken in a while. They're wondering if you are on the right track. They're wondering if you are on the right path. If you are also doing the things that you have spoken about, that you both have spoken about in confidence as well. Okay? So yeah, this, this, um, this connection, 
is very, it seems very, very personal, okay? Like, like this is deeper than physical. This is like a mental connection. This is a spiritual connection. You know, um, you both are very sensitive to energy. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, you both have very, very powerful destinies. Very powerful. The next message we have is, let me fix this. Hmm. Wow, there, there's a very, very, very authoritative kind of energy that's coming through with this card here, okay? I actually feel like if you're resonating with this message so far, it's almost like you both had to go in like different directions, but maybe not really understanding why. But I feel like where you are right now is only temporary, okay? So I'm getting that clearly you both may be confused about where you are right now. This could be in your personal life. This could be within this actual connection. But this is very, very strategic. So if you're currently away from your person or you feel like something about your life just feels off course a little bit, this is happening for a reason. I feel like this let me fix this energy is, is like coming from the universe. This is like coming from a higher power, wanting to come in and kind of course correct things, but in a very, very different way. It's almost like a higher power has set you both on like a kind of detour to learn something about yourselves. But whatever it is that you're learning is directly tied to this connection, but it's also very, very personal to you. This is so weird because I've never like, this energy has never come up before and I'm trying to explain it in a way that it's coming to me. Um, I hope this is coming across clear. But there's, if this is resonating so far, there's a masculine energy that you are connected to that you have a very deep bond with. This is somebody who is like a best friend to you, like a friend, a lover, I'm getting everything about this connection is just off the charts. But this is someone you genuinely like. Like there's a level of comfort here as it pertains to this connection. And for some reason, you haven't been in contact with them. And that's kind of, you know, worrying you a bit. But at the same time, you have like this calm kind of disposition about the energy of this connection. But when you think about your person, the only thing that really worries you is, are they okay? You have a very different energy about this connection. There's no more of, you know, those very antsy kind of anxious energies um, as it pertains to this coming together. It's kind of like you already know. It's like you both already know, you know, what's happening here. But where you are on your journeys, you feel like, I kind of feel like the universe has you on a detour of some sort. And the only thing you're concerned about is, are you okay? You know, how is life treating you at the stage of your life? It's like you kind of know that there's something that this masculine has to learn. There's some type of lesson. And although they kind of are clinging onto you, you may definitely feel their energies very, very heavy at this time especially with what's happening on the planet, you know deep down that whatever it is that they have to learn, they have to learn it without you being there, okay? They have to learn this for themselves. And as it pertains to this connection, I feel like whatever area of their life is being sharpened is directly tied to this connection in some way. But this is a very dual energy, divine feminine. I feel like this may be happening in your life as well. So you may feel like you were pulled apart from your person. Things may have phased out. But where you are right now, you're at this place where you're learning something about yourself. But whatever it is that you're learning is directly tied to the energy of this connection. I hope that's coming through clearly because it's almost as if, you know, the universe kind of had to step in here and kind of realign things on both ends. But it's to the point where you both may not, you know, have verbalized this or put this out there. It's a feeling, it's, it's a knowing. 
okay? And I feel like you both have like this confident, calm kind of knowing energy as it pertains to where you are right now, but your deepest thought or your deepest concern is their well-being, you know? And how you can support them through whatever it is that they're going through at this stage and they feel the same way about you as well, okay? There's a much deeper energy, okay? Um, I'm sorry, there's a much deeper understanding of what's happening here on a spiritual level. So a lot of the emotions in the past that were causing blockages, um, those have been removed or they're being removed at this time. And it's like, it's, it's as if you both were on this path and somewhere along this journey, you begin to get lost in maybe the people, the places, the things that, that were in your close environment because there's something about environment here. But whether you know it or not, you know, the universe was kind of like, it's kind of slowly taking you both on a detour, okay? For you to learn something about yourselves, but whatever it is that you're learning, it's actually helping and making this connection a lot more stronger at this time, okay? Wow. I hope that came across clearly because that's exactly how I got it. Let's get the next message at this time. Yeah, I definitely feel like at this stage, you may feel this as well, Divine Feminine. Something about your connection may feel a little bit more sturdy. Or if you don't feel it right now, definitely with these, these transitions that are happening, especially with this new moon, I mean, sorry, this full moon in Pisces that's happening, you definitely will feel once this massive emotional clearing happens, you'll really feel a more sturdy position in this connection because that's where you're headed, okay? If you're resonating with this message. Let's get the next message here. Wow, the next message we have is, I look for you everywhere. Yeah, wow, I just got... I just got 1111. I noticed that this message is really focused on like direction. It's focused on a certain path. Okay, detours. Um, you may be getting 1111. 1111 may be like a personal synchronicity for you and your person's journey. It may be very personal to you. But I feel like the your love is growing and evolving at this stage of your connection. Yeah, your connection is becoming a lot more sturdy at this time. And like I was saying earlier with, I look for you everywhere. No matter how far apart you are from your person, no matter where you are in your personal lives or your personal journeys, it's kind of like your person's energy is everywhere. You know what I mean? Or something reminds you of their energy or when you get to a certain stage or when you learn a certain lesson, it reminds you of your person. And this is because this is someone who you have literally sat down with or discussed this with, whether this be energetically, whatever this is, this is a very, very powerful, powerful bond. Like you both are very careful with one another's energies here is what I'm getting. But your person knows whatever life is taking them at this time, they look for you everywhere. They find you everywhere. It always comes back around to you in some kind of way. So like I was saying earlier, this is something that's very personal to your journey and to their journey. Like you both have been kind of taken on a detour by the universe. Like the universe has stepped in to take you both on a powerful detour to learn something, to sharpen something in, in one or more areas of your lives. But it all circles back around to this higher kind of love that you have. You both have very powerful, powerful destinies. I'm getting powerful energies by yourselves. Like, you have the ability, Divine Feminine. Wow, this, this is being pointed out. So this may be something that your person wants you to know about you or something that they just really really love about you but you have this energy to where when people are around you you kind of inspire them to tap into a higher timeline maybe people tell you this maybe this is something that you notice maybe your person has actually sat back and watched you like speak to people or watch 
you walk into a room and actually change the energy, like you're powerful, but you're masculine. This is powerful masculine energy as well. But what I'm also getting is that you both have went through a great deal of struggle in your lives. And you have been molded and shaped and evolved into such powerful versions of yourselves. And right now your person is kind of yearning for your energy, but wherever the universe has them right now, this is something that they have to navigate through by themselves. And if you are away from your person, the same type of energy here. But it's all coming back full circle to your person. So yeah, you both have very powerful energies, but Divine Feminine, it's, it's really sticking out here how your energy alone is just like, I don't know if this is something that you know about yourself, but you maybe you inspired this masculine in that way. Maybe them even being around you made them feel, you know, made them automatically tap into their higher self and just want more out of life. Maybe thinking about their creative endeavors, their professional, you know, um, lives or their professional goals here. I'm getting every area of their lives. They look for you like you're that spark of inspiration. That That is really, really beautiful here, okay? And I feel like you feel this way about your person as well. You both, this energy that I'm tapping into, you really bring the best out of one another. And you're missing each other right now because you know that the universe has you going through something that has to do with your personal journey. And you may have these moments where you miss your person. You may very well wonder what it is that they're up to, how life is treating them. But as far as those energies where you feel really hesitant, where you feel unsure, I don't feel this here. This is a divine feminine. You know that your person loves you. They know that you love them, okay? But you both, as it pertains to, you know, communication or talking right now, you both want to know how the other is feeling and how you can directly support them and what it is that they're going through because you know that you're coming back together. You know that, you know, you have a very powerful destiny, Okay, you have something to fulfill with this person. It, it's not, if you feel like this is something that's over or, you know, you feel like your person is so far gone that you don't even know, because I'm getting that energy here. There could be a divine feminine that feels like you haven't spoken to your person in so long, but you still feel kind of connected to them in this way where you look for them and every you see them everywhere. You see signs, you see scenes, you know that, Something is happening, but you can't understand. There's more to your story, okay? And you're about to find out. But wherever you are right now is where you are supposed to be, okay? Let's get the next message here, the last message. Wow. The last message we have is your love is keeping me going. Yes. So the love, whatever you both have kind of, you know, you meeting this divine masculine, it's like the love that you have created, it's like the spark, it's like the fire that keeps you both going. Your person wants you to know this. So when they have their moments when they're thinking about you, and also I'm getting that your happiness is very, very important to this masculine energy. So if you're at a place where you're thinking about them and you're sad or you're missing them, they want you to think about like the happy times, your happiness. Like this is a masculine that's very, very careful with your energy divine feminine. They, they're they very, very serious about you. This is someone that loves you, okay? They really view you as their teammate. I keep getting they like you. Like, aside from them loving you, they like you as a person. And I feel like at this time, you're in this together, but you have very different things to focus on. But whatever it is that you're focusing on, you may not notice this, but it, it's revolving around the same thing. It's revolving around this connection, around this love that you have established. So your person... 
they really, really desire to be close to you at this time. Even though they may not be able to express this to you, they want to know how you're doing. They want to know how life is treating you. They want you to know that they may be going through the ebbs and flows of life, but they're okay, okay? They, they remember the things that you've discussed. They remember the plans that you have made. And they want you to know that regardless of where life has taken them, they're honoring the things that they said to you. They're honoring these plans, okay? So this is a masculine who loves you, divine feminine. This is your person. I feel like you both are being taken in like a new direction to kind of redefine yourselves. But whatever this is, is making your connection more stronger. It's making it more sturdy. I definitely feel like there will be an opportunity, not only for you to share what it is that you've learned, but I feel like when you come in contact with your person, you'll know, like you'll feel it. You'll instantly feel that they are changed, that they are evolved, that whatever it is that they needed, they needed to get to this level on themselves. There's gonna be something very authentic about this energy in a way that you can feel, okay? So if you resonated with this message, you may be at a distance from your person. You may not be seeing them as often, okay? For some of you, even if you are in contact, there's something where you feel like your energy may be being pulled in another direction or you feel like your person is being pulled in another direction. You both are being guided at this time to trust the order of your life. Also, something about your environment. So trust the people that you meet. Trust the places that you frequent. There's a lesson in all of this. All of this is kind of coming together to come full circle here. There's a lesson in all of it. There's certain areas of your lives that are being sharpened right now that have something to do with your love life, with this connection. So this is very, very powerful energy. I hope this came across clear because this reading kind of went in a different direction than I intended it to. But this is very, very powerful energy here. So, sorry about that. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.